Hello everybody, welcome back to another gum game challenge. This time I opted to go on Derizon Drop because I don't have too many videos on Derizon Drop on the channel. It's one of my favorite maps of all time, and I feel like I've been neglecting it like one of my children. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope this video finds you well. Uh, we're starting off the map strong with uh, board games. Again, what are the odds of that? When we played with Kino Toten with simply we started with board games. So I get oh no, what this is bored to death. Oh my god, I guess very happy. Oh, this is actually big. Let's go. Before we do that, though, I want to see what I can get from this. If we get an idea of double points, maybe get the dragons open a bit faster, that'd be pretty base. A nice big piece of shit. Actually, that's exactly what we wanted. Let's go. It feels nice playing, like, almost vanilla Black Ops 3 because I'm playing so much modded zombies that sometimes it's go it's really good to just go back to what made zombie zombies in that vanilla form gameplay. You know, it's like when you play modded Minecraft and then you make a new vanilla world. And it's like, sure, you, the mods are really fun and they add so much to the game, but sometimes you just like to keep it simple. Well, not me. My brain's fucking worms. Okay, let's pop them now and then go. So I don't really need to hit the gobble gun machine, so fuck that. If I can get the haymaker or the ray gun right now, I'm gonna be laughing all over the bang. Pretty much just something to kill that pesky round tall panther that wants to fill his crack with my ass. Ooh, very solid gun for now. Nah, I'm going with the HVK. Oh, the haymaker, literally the best bullet gun in the game besides maybe the dingo. Let's go. Dragon, I'll probably starve to death under my care because I am a I have porn care because I have the attention span of a raisin. Blast it on some. Hello, dragon. I want to know how many times I've filled up this dragon before. I always go to this dragon first. I never go the other way to the map. It's like a sin to me to go that way. I always choose this route. I don't know if anyone actually does go the other way, but this is like the way to go in my opinion. Mind blown. Yeah, we got the JFK gobble. I'm looking absolutely beautiful right now. I'm gonna give the zombies a massive headache. You could have got eaten by a dragon after you died, but you chose to rock like my neurons. Okay, blood. Blood was not him, and he's gone. The zombie spawns slower than my goddamn thoughts on these rounds. Holy sh- I don't want to get overrun. I want to feed the dragon, but I don't want to get absolutely blasted. So it's a little bit- you gotta mix a bit of a training and taking him out, but so you can actually effectively feed this bozo without going down mid-round. Okay, time to JFK him. Yoink! It's the parade, boys! Oh, well, that's just kind of brutal. Holy shit, I never realized how actually horrible that is. That's great. My bro, hungry shit? What are you, fat Albert, my guy? I think we did something. So this is like in plain sight on super duper steroids like Popeye after he eats his spinach with his enema. So this just pretty much makes us immune to all zombies on the screen for a minute and a half. Completely trivializes the Gorod boss fight in the blink of an eye. I get it because it's idolized. So all you really got to do is bring one of these with fatal contraption in the boss fight if you got a friend with you. I know I don't. <laughs> and you can just one tap Nikolai Balinski's Mechazoid freak suit instantly. And it's really good and really rewarding. The Gorod Kroby boss fight has to be the hardest boss fight in the game, right? Because that's supposed to be simple. The Keeper is pretty easy once you get used to it. But Nikolai, man. Nikolai's wraps and meteorite butt crack punishers, things he shoots from the air, like those missiles. They're always deadly, dude. If you're not prepared, he'll clap your buns immediately. I've never beaten that boss solo, actually, just because it's so difficult. I'm going to take a rig. Oh, fatal contraption. That would actually be really helpful for Papa Pussy Panzer. No, I don't need to feed the dragon. I need to destroy the dragon. Get his ass out of here. Really cool how these are the dragons that end up going to stall and grind. You just kind of teleport them through like Mewtwo's anuses beneath that, I guess. That's pretty cool. Where's the Rampage reducer in Black Ops 3? Oh, God. No, I'm buns, bro. Oh, I forgot to buy Quick Revive. The whole game was just ended there. Oh, my God. Okay, so yeah, maybe we should go buy Quick Revive and return on this power switch. Because I ain't trying to feed Daniel Larson dragon dick again. No, 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 I just said I don't want that to happen. <laughs> or you can go lick the balls out of my dick hole. You can go shit on my own chest and fill me with peanut butter jelly, you goddamn ass cracker. That's what happens to your ass at the game. You miss all of your shots and you cry when the zombies beat your butthole. At least we're spawning with a nice sword play. Too bad we only got to get to use it on round one, so we're going to be able to one-tap the zombies anyway. So it's effectively buns. Okay, I'm not being stupid this time, okay? I'm buying quick revive right now because I know I'm going to have an apparent skill issue and I'm going to get blasted off the planet with my bullshit slip. That was such a good game too, man. I had some. Oh, oh, we're having an even better one this time. Let's go, 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 go! I was about to hit that trip, that turbine, whatever that thing is called, the trample steam tram. Yeah, that thing. But fuck, now we gotta go. We gotta buy the whole map right now. Where's that shoe? There it is. Richtofen, I'm a shit to Richtofen. I'm shitting. Holy fox, doing I'm shitting. I love the slide of Black Ops 3 so much. I just love being able to go yoink, bunny hopping. The slide on its own is a little mid, but being able to jump cancel slide into another slide indefinitely, like Sonic the Hedgehog's gooch, just makes it so satisfying to me. And I love the slide, eh? Get a free perk, why not? Sword flake because it was still green. Oh, double tap, hell yeah, free double tapper. I love it. I definitely could have used a better shopping free, but it definitely did not go to waste. Aftertaste, that's a pretty good one, actually, you know. If we manage to get a skill issue and go down, we're gonna have some free shit, we're not gonna be able to lose our perks. That's a typical vibe. This thing's actually cracked with double tap. Oh my god, it's the best starting pistol in the world. Where's this last bozo at? 
I can't see him, no literally, where is he? Most taken 10 eons to come. Man, this map is gorgeous. Why do all the snowy maps and cloud zombies hit so hard? I don't think there's a single bad snow map in zombies. Even Tog isn't really that bad, honest. Oh, I'm just gonna take the free money. Now we get another Gobble Gum. Maybe we'll get a Perkaholic. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping at the end of all this, we just get a free Perkaholic. Get the fire cells back. I'm definitely not complaining about that. Let's go. Okay, I gotta get the last shoe parts so the ban the Panzer does not, in fact, break my Paprika pussy spine and blast me. Oh my god, my guy's tweaked over there. My man did not have a good day. Holy shit, man's listening every limb and penis. That is just abhorrent, my guy. I'm sorry you had to go through that. We will not forget you, my brother. Now, this cannon with double tap is a dangerous weapon. This always, I'm surprised this always are running away from me just looking at, with this beast of a gun. Holy shit. Remember when everybody said beast, bro? Oh, that was so boss, bro. That was so epic. Yeah. Now, let's never go back to that, for the love of God. Please keep that where it was, uh, buried like Biden's ancestry. Now, my brain is like a cookie half bitten by Cookie Monster and his mother's anus. That's pretty fun. Oh my god, we're going! What do we got? Pergola, give it to me. Oh, this is like the worst gobblegum in the game. Never mind. Look how fast you switch. Never mind. It's my new favorite gobblegum. Well, you can actually spit. Oh my god, this that's the best name. I wish stamina made you like increase random miscellaneous actions like that fast. That'd be cruel. Well, okay, my box like right now is straight diarrhea dick first. Are you kidding me? You're gonna give me the XM53 and the Shiva back to back. If I get the Shiva gun, I'm in the video. Well, he gave me a really good gun, so I guess he wants the game to continue. The MP is definitely one of the greatest point guns in all of COD Zombies. This thing just slaps so hard. We're trying to get those bank numbers up. And we got our Haymaker back. Let's go. Okay, so yeah, we're literally just good on guns now. Now we got jokes that don't really worry about getting bullied by the zombies. This thing is ass, bro. This thing is just shitting on me now. All of a sudden, Slifty, man. The only time I ever use All of a sudden, Slifty is for if I'm running a mod like this, it's in my default pack. Or if you're, like, you're on a new account. Because All of a sudden, Slifty, compared to the other gums you unlock, are straight ass. Like, All of a sudden, Slifty, I've never done anything quite as swift as removing that from my Gobblegum pack. Because it is more mid than the middle of the month, goddamn. Like, it is ass. Straight fucking Fruity Pebbles, Fred Flintstone, buns. No, get out of my face. I got all this on Slifty and I'm salty and you're gonna fucking feel the wrath of the sped man. Okay, now we gotta feed Dragovich the Dragon Dussy Enjoyer. Come here, boy. We're making good progress. We're making good progress. And by that I mean we haven't fed him at all yet, you ass. This is the fastest zombies game, but right now it's so slow. But when it picks up, man, it picks up like a goddamn winter storm's fury. One second you're in one foot of snow, the second you it's the end of the dinosaurs TV show in the post apocalyptic nuclear winter. It's like, ah, damn. Like, look at this tweak over there. He's going so slow. Like, what the hell is he doing? Oh, oh. I was just trying to roast one of your brethren. Don't mind me. I'm just being a dickhead. Your bones. I wish there was a shotgun close to as good as the Haymaker is, but I just don't really think there is, honestly. Besides maybe the KRM and the Mog 12. But other than that, man, the Haymaker sweeps every other zombie shotgun under their water. Like, it is straight ass, my guy. Like, everything else is so bond. Well, we fed a little bit of the dragon. That's pretty good. Gobble gum, round six. Give me some of that buns. <sighs> Oh, I got the mid gobble gum again. Are you kidding me, bro? What the? Well, at least we feel Timmy Turner's stupid ass dragon cousin. That's pretty damn cool. We like that. Now let's go feed the one of the church. I will save the one down here last. I don't know why. It's just kind of like a mental ritual I have in my brain. My zero IQ peanut leverage brain. My brain is like if you combined a slinky with a caterpillar giving birth and you made it try to play a video game. It just doesn't know what's happening already. And now you're trying to make it play a video game. What the fuck are you talking about? Get your ass out of here, hellhounds. I got no time for you. I can blast your butthole with one bullet, and you're just going to disintegrate into mere atoms that don't even exist no more. And you're trying to come over here, fight tank dempers with your bullshit. Get that out of here. Now let's go feed this dragon and build a shield. I always build this shield upstairs. I don't know why. Some people like to do it in the undercroft area, but I am this. I like to. F yeah. And there, now we get the raindrop. Shit, we're going to have six perks, baby. Let's go. Mule kick? Actually, I'll take it. You never know what's gonna happen in this mod, so it won't ha hurt having an extra gun. Hey, no, Dr. Cherry, I'll take it, bro. I would've preferred stamina, but I'm not gonna complain too much. Too much being the operative word. I'm fucking pissed. Ooh, I love the ice here. This is before the thing came became a wall gun, so it's pretty cool. I'm just gonna rock with the ice here. I'll probably get the bow to be my mule kick weapon, honestly, because um, if we lose it, we can just go pick it up again anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Hold on to that third gun for a little bit longer once we have an apparent skill issue. These gobble gums ain't gonna stop me from building the bows. Actually, they're probably just gonna help us because there's a lot more uh, beneficial gobble gum effects than there is bad ones if you think about it. I don't think there really is one that detriments you. Bro should make a gobble gum chaos mod where half of the gobble gums just become buns and try to like ruin your run. But I thought I fed him for a second, even too. Bro, with the power of my gobble gums, you ain't beating me, bro. This guy's walking after me very funkily. I like his spunk. Too bad you're still buns, bro. Should have had the ray gun, idiot. 
Minecraft Steve outdid himself with the construction on this place. God, God damn, it looks good. How hungry are you, bro? Man hasn't eaten since the Bush administration. Holy sh! Idolize. We're getting a lot of duplicate ones. I don't see you no more. <laughs> oh God, I'm going blind. I have cataracts. What the fuck is happening? What up? This isn't really gonna help us right now because I feel like the zombies are just gonna ignore us and run and go shit their pants and nowhere near the dragon. I don't really know why I popped this. I forgot it made. It did give us a funny haha -ha filter though. So that's pretty cool. I walked it off for the pants on round eight, boys. He's right there. I see him. He's on the wall. He became a dragon. Holy shit! Dragon evolved like Charizard. Where are they going? Where are they? Bro, can, have you seen the zombies? Oh, there they are. Man, this death machine will never cease to amaze me. It's so good. I have to get rid of it because I'm just going to blast them before they're even at the dragon's reign because it's just too fun. We have so much points. I could just go pack a bunch right now. Yeah, we're going to lap off that pants like a bad hangover because we're going to clap him with the pack a bunch team maker the second that idiot drops down. Oh, dragon done. One tap and shot, baby! I'm feeling burned out. Let's get burned out. Oh, shopping field. Let's go free pack a bunch. Go, go, go. Dickhead, run! We'll, we'll, we'll feed the Undercroft dragon after, but if I can get a free pack a bunch, I'm laughing. I was going to pack a bunch of all my guns. What else do we got to use the fucking money on? The, no, I was going to ask if the boy knife is here. It's the VMP. I'm just stupid. Yes, I, I was scared. I forgot to link the one at the top, but we did it. Let's go. Our brain. We went from one IQ to zero PRQ. Oh, Jesus. Oh, lick testicles. That was not okay. Come here, baby. Come in here, baby. Last one. Come on, can you get them all off? Yes, he can, I believe. Let's go above the middle of sussy style. Oh, yes, sir. And that's why we like the Haymaker, because the Haymaker is just a zombie horde obliterating dick riding machine. I would me outride the Haymaker all the way to the bank. This thing is so overpowered, it makes almost every other gun in the game look just buns, and I, I love it for that, man. Like, every gun is still has some sort of value, but when it comes to taking out Panthers, Boss Zombies in general, the Haymaker is going to be that at the top of your wanted list for your arsenal. This shit just slaps so hard. Okay, now you must feed you, Dragon number three, Cerberus Butthole Head number three. I got you there. Third time's a charm. I'm going to probably eat you for breakfast tomorrow, but it's fine. Yeah, I'm not even stressed about that Panzer anymore. The second he spawns in, we're just going to clap him up. We're all going to eat him for breakfast like a bowl of Lucky Charms. Let's go. Eat him up. Resist puffs, resist puffs, eat the zombies, the zombies, you're dickhead, eat the damn zombies already. If you don't eat the zombies, you're gonna make me start tweaking, boy. You don't want me to be tweaking because you, if you get me tweaking, I'm gonna be yapping at the speed of light. Ain't nobody gonna understand what the fuck I'm saying. Not even you, and you're a dragon from another dimension. Eat my asshole. Oh, it's anti gravity mode. Let's go. I feel like Ben Franklin. I meant to say Ben 10. I said Ben Franklin. Hey, we did. Let's go grab our bow. Sorry, ICR. You're gonna get replaced. You're a goat gun, and I love you to death, but we have a bow to make. I die with this thing. I'm straight buns. Uh, where do I go again? Oh, I have to go shoot like, the turkey baster's butt crack over here up on top of the death ray to activate it. I also get worried if I need to go play this map half of the time. That's the thing with me trying to do zombies these strikes. Even with the power of Gobblegum Goosey on our side to help us out, man. I have the IQ of a frozen raisin, so it kind of makes it difficult to focus on one Among Us task at a time when I'm doing the Easter eggs or building a wonder weapon. So, you know, I feel like I need to have like a written note on my hand like Patrick Starr to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, now we gotta shoot the bonfires. We gotta make the bonfires look like it's a Dark Souls dick riding boss. Okay, let's go, let's go. Go, like. Hey, first try, baby. If I can hit this one first try, you have to like and subscribe. If I hit this one first try, you have to like and subscribe. Well, I guess no one's gonna fucking like and subscribe. Oh, lick my balls and fill it with a fucking gasoline. No, you're interrupting my my aim. Oh, we did, we did. Okay, that's actually like world record pace for me. Usually, I've been there for like an hour and a half eating peanut butter, trying not to OD on depression while I make that while I fail to make that shot. I missed that shot so much that it just actually makes my confidence low because, like, wow, I'm actually that bad. Did it? Let's go. Okay, so now we gotta do the wall running bubble bubble bullshit. Man, this bow is really simple to build when you think about it. All you have to do is shoot fires, run on the wall, uh, get kills around, like, magical, mystical butthole bases, and then get the fired, and then hit the bonfires again. Like, that's not even that hard, bro. Like, it's just now dying on me how much easier the Derizendrak bows are to make rather than the Origin stats. Like, it is very, very... It is way much of a less of a headache of a process to complete this shit. Oh! The only thing that really sucks is when you're doing this and the Antigrav runs off when you're at the last one. I'm really hoping my bow is kind of puckering, hoping that's not going to happen. And we're good. Let's go. Now let's go to the metrical... That's all you have to do, right? Like, I'm not stupid. It's just... I'm, I'm def And then you have to hold F on that when it, like, glows. Yeah. Get in here, my friends. You're going to get blasted by Biden. Blast! Bro, get out my meat, bro, get out my meat, holy shit! So everyone has a different way for doing this, I feel like. I take this one, and I just, I use this one to get this one right here. Oh god, oh god, run. I'm gonna clutch this up, you so fast, you don't even know. 
that I did it. I know I did it. That was the that was the ultra elite game. I actually did a first try like that. Let's go. I'm so happy about that one. Let's go. Fun. I'm actually so happy to hit on the first try. Like holy. Usually that takes me like at least ten fucking tries to do that. Okay, we got the pop of pussy pants are coming next round though, so we're gonna make it count, boys. This is how I do this one. I do that, and then I do this, and then you pray you don't miss. Really, I missed that one. I missed that one. I don't hit the I hit the hardest one first try, and the one that's easier than eating raisins with your grandpa. I miss. Okay, great. That that makes about the right amount of sense for me. I would be the type of idiot to do that. Okay, okay. It's like being impressively bad. Where's the last zombie? Yeah, boy, I need the zombie. He's trying to bite my bussy, and I'm gonna blast him. I, I think I kind of confused him a little bit, like fucking traveling across the universe and negating all sort of gravity. Like Isaac Newton is cringing at the fact we're flying around like birds without an anus. I am going to use the Death Ray because I just really want to build the Lightning Staff. It's actually been a while since I have built the Lightning Staff, but I don't want to mess it up and lose the ability to use such an overpowered goaded weapon. So let's not bra blast ourselves here. Let's play it smart and use the Ben Franklin electronic nipple LED device to blast this Mechazoid freak bastard back to the hell where he belongs. And we got a Lucky Death Machine. He's ragged on like it's a Skate 3 bug over again. My man just turned into a broken Oblivion NPC and got blasted. Thanks, Death Machine, bro. The game really said, you know what? We got you, homie. And the max ammo. Let's go. That's like double epic double. Use. Let's go. These goblin guns have been helping out so much. Wait, is sword? Fl is it still a one knife with sword play? Two knife. Okay, so definitely with the Bowie knife, it'll be a one tap. Pretty helpful. Even with the one, I think it would buff our knife enough for it to be a one tap. I was like, that was a scary. Holy shit, get off my meat, bro. Oh, oh man, I'm so happy they put the RPK in all the. E I'm very happy they put the RPK, RPK in all the maps after Chronicle because the RPK is such a good fucking gun in this game. Like they did it so much justice, like they did in Bo One. I'm very happy they didn't just leave it to the Chronicles map. They decided to add it in every single map in the game, and I could not be happier about it. Ooh, that's, I never actually used Hedron because it's never worth actually using over some gobble gums, But I feel like if I had run like a 50 with the Rega Mark II, it would be good. No, my God, it's overpowered. Oh, okay, it's actually pretty fun to use them. I'm gonna lie, but this thing, they're not even gonna be able to touch me. Bro, leave that alone. Hey, that's what we like to see. Now let's go head off on the magical rock of the Dwayne Johnson cock, and we're gonna be happily building the lightning staff before you can say, Oh my god, a shit all over the place, and Joe Biden is angry. Let's go. I'm just gonna go this way, actually. We got the amount of points we can just kind of buy whatever it said. We want, baby. We ain't worried about points. 20k on not 13. We're rich. We're rich like a bitch. Man, this map, man, I feel like this map changed zombies forever for the better. Like, I remember this is the most hype I was probably ever heard of zombies map, and it exceeded how hyped I was. So, like, usually zombies maps after this, they kind of filled my hype. Like, I was pretty hyped for Zetsubo, and it was kind of mid. But, man, the hype after seeing the Panzer and the Horizon Jock trailer, and just seeing everything that was going to be, man, this map when it came out, I was so hyped for it. Like, I was jizzing with excitement, just pondering what is Trey cooking, the Panzer's back, what other things are going to be lurking around the map. And with how fun the Easter egg and boss fight was, how magical of an experience it was, the, it was just so worth it. Gorod also lived up to the hype. I love Gorod a lot, but man, this map is just like peak. I like that they give you a max ammo for doing it too. What I do when I really want to hire on this map is I build the lightning bow, and I build the wolf bow and keep the bow arrow part, and then when I need a max ammo down that, I just put it in here. Very good strat. You can probably do it for all the bows realistically, but I think you can only have one arrow at a time, so I just do the wolf bow because it's also like one of the better bows and it's fucking simple to make. Also, thing I've learned thanks to the power of YouTube is if you shoot this, every zombie that is killed by these bows shots will always be in range of being absorbed by the souls. So that's pretty cool. If you uh, if you ever want to speed run there, so it makes the process a hell of a lot easier. Yeah, there we go. It's already done. Yoink! Bop! There you go. Ben Franklified your big old titties, bro. He's got blasted. This is such a fun one weapon. This is one of my favorite one weapons of all time. It's absolutely overpowered, easy to make, and it's just so rewarding for the quest that you have to do for it. It is so damn good. Probably my favorite of the four bows all the time. I don't mind Wolf or Boy too much, but I've never actually crafted the Firebow just because how buns it is. It's so difficult to make, and I don't feel like you're rewarded properly for how difficult it is to make sometimes when you're bad at it like I am. I feel like once you know the process and the exact precise angles you need to hit, building the Firebow is probably as easy as 1, 2, 3, take a pee with me, but I don't know, I'm fucking straight bro buns at the game, and my neurons are like a toaster on fires, so um, uh, it's hard for me to do that. Oh, we got blasted. Yeah, these Gobblegums are a fucking hell of a help, though. We got Temporal Gift. Kind of a shame that we didn't get to use any power-ups with it. I, I really like that one. Having a double points last for a minute is really good for the early game. 
Yo, shopping for you. It's Mr. Krabs shopping spree, baby. This is Mr. Krabs tax money you just gave us. Let's fucking go. I can see my tits from here. Holy shit. I can't even see off your mama here because she's so fat. Holy well, I think that's going to do it for the Der Eisendrock gum game. We got to build the Der Eisendrock storm bow, baby. Round 16 didn't really take too long, honestly. I probably could have done it a lot quicker if I wasn't a stupid idiot, but my, my, despite all that, we still managed to at least craft a bit like Minecraft Steve during a Minecraft speedrun. I sure hope you guys did enjoy that video of their gum game. It had some very helpful, very cool, funny, haha, -ha gobble gums. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe on the video, as I really do appreciate it. It helps the channel grow, and I appreciate it very, very much boys i hope you all have a wonderful day peace out my dudes and i'll catch you guys hopefully in the next video peace out gamers eat my ass what is he doing holy shit i can't i don't know what's going on holy shit i'm